A faction, People's Democratic Party PDP in Edo State, known as the Legacy PDP Party, has accused the state's governor, Godwin Obasaki, of marginalizing and betraying its members after they gave him the ticket in 2020 to contest when he, all progressive Congress, APC, had abandoned him. Prominent leaders of the Legacy PDP from the seven local government areas that made up the Edo 
South Senatorial District at a headquarters meeting in Benin City say if nothing is done to salvage the situation, they might work against the party in the September 2024 governorship election in the state. The stakeholders meeting was put together by prominent leaders of the PDP in a two South Senatorial District under the Legacy Group to brainstorm on recent political happenings within the People's Democratic Party. Top on the agenda of the meeting was the alleged betrayal and marginalization of members of the old PDP by Governor Gordon Obaseki. The present governor who was already in chase that of OPC, Airquel OPC, as leaders of Oredo, Oredo Kerebe, he came from Oredo. They came to us. We said, no, you can't disgrace our Oredo song like this. We now went to praise our song. Man, I hear you. Man, I hear you. I was step down. He came to get to go to the security for free, and he decided to punish all of us. We have come to decide that a law is a law. A two-time member of the House of Representatives from Oredo Federal Constituency and two-time governorship aspirant of the party. Omoreke Obediyama narrated how he was persuaded to step down for Governor Gordon Obaseki in 2020, but lamented the ill treatment he and other legacy PDP members have received from the man they supported in 2020 in his second term bid. Four years down the line, the story of how Governor Obaseki has treated me, all of us who welcomed him into this party, who worked hard to make sure he wins. From one leader to the other, it was lamentations of what they have suffered in the states despite being in the ruling party. They threatened to work against the party if something urgent was not done to address the issues of marginalization. We will give them time, and the time is very short. It is either they decide to do what is right. Nobody will slap legacy PDP. We will never agree to it. You will decide what will work for you. You will not make mistake again. If they lose us like this, we will report against him and all that concerns him. Anybody that is ungrateful cannot be in your record, cannot be in your, in your domain, cannot be in your prayer. And not be one the one that you follow. The legacy PDP later went spiritual, seeking divine intervention. Uhiose Inarume, AIT News. <laughs>
A faction, People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Edo State, known as the Legacy PDP Party, has accused the state's governor, Godwin Obaseki, of marginalizing and betraying its members after they gave him the ticket in 2020 to contest when he, all progressives Congress, APC, had abandoned him. Prominent leaders of the Legacy PDP from the seven local government areas, the mayor of the Edo South Senatorial District at a stakeholders meeting in Benin City say if nothing is done to salvage the situation, they might work against the party in the September 2024 governorship election in the state. The stakeholders meeting was put together by prominent leaders of the PDP in the two South Senatorial Districts under the Legacy Group to brainstorm on recent political happenings within the People's Democratic Party. Top 
on the agenda of the meeting was the alleged betrayal and marginalization of members of the old PDP by Governor Gordon Obaseki. The present governor was already chased out of OPC, Yahweh OPC. As leaders of Oredo, Oredo Kerebe, he came from Oredo. They came to us. We said, no, you can't disgrace our Oredo song like this. We now went to praise our song. I for free, and he decided to punish all of us. We have come to decide that a love is a love. A two-time member of the House of Representatives from Oredo Federal Constituency and two-time governorship aspirant of the party. Omoreke Obediyama narrated how he was persuaded to step down for Governor Gordon Obaseki in 2020, but lamented the ill treatment he and other legacy PDP members have received from the man they supported in 2020 in his second term bid. Four years down the line, the story of how Governor Obaseki has treated me, all of us who welcome the Victorious Party. Who worked hard to make sure he wins. From one leader to the other, it was lamentations of what they have suffered in the states despite being in the ruling party. They threatened to work against the party if something urgent was not done to address the issues of marginalization. We will give them time, and the time is very short. It is either they decide to do what is right. Nobody will slap legacy PDP. We will never agree to it. You will decide what will work for you. You will not make mistake again. If they lose us like this, we will report against him and all that concerns him. Any point that is ungrateful cannot be in your record, cannot be in your, in your domain, cannot be in your prayer. Cannot be one, the one that you follow. The legacy PDP later went spiritual, seeking divine intervention. Uhiyoze Inarume, AIT News. You can hold the video so it will be played. I was, I was flabbergasted with laugh because they said they had to go on spiritual in order to convince the, the legacy PDP had to go on spiritual in the presence of uh, former Senator Roland Owea and Ogbede uh, Yama and the rest. They had to go <laughs> spiritual in order for them to convince the current governor to include them. If not, they are going to go a wire. Now, these are signs of people who are drumming. These are some of the people who are drumming big support for Senator Monday Mevolo and the Lizekwe Dausa. A lot of people are grieved in those states. A lot of people are grieved. A lot of people are angry because they are not satisfied with the way <laughs> the way the governor has led the state, especially the legacy PDP. They are not happy. And one of the main leaders of the legacy PDP is uh, Ogbede Yama. And uh, we just saw Senator Rolando Weir join them. Uh -huh. he, was, uh, he was not there before, but I think he recently joined, even though he's a chief team, he's a chief team of Edo politics, but he's, they are making a statement to the current governor that if care is not taken, they are going to draw their support, which they are already doing for Senator Mondo Bevolo, just as uh, uh, Chief Danobi is also threatening that he's going to give his support 
to Senator Mondo Bevolo. A lot of people are coming to support Senator Mondo Bevolo ticket and Dennis Denko in the house. Now, have you said that? We just saw yesterday, or just the recent, that uh, even though we know that that one was coming, that uh, 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 Senator Matthew Rogide, the pharmacist, uh, Senator Matthew Rogide, who is a pharmacist, we saw that he has just come to APC from PDP to drum support for Senator Mondio Bevolo, to give his support for Senator Mondio Bevolo and Dennis Denko in the house. Now, what you are seeing in Edo State is that people are ready and they are willing to change here. People want to change here. They are ready to change here. They are ready to move with the moving train of APC led by Senator Mondo Bevolo. So that's why we are calling on every one of you to also drum your support for Senator Mondo Bevolo. Because what you are seeing here is that <laughs> the major leaders of PDP are saying they are going to APC. That's the statement they are making there just now. That's the video you saw to support Senator Mondo Bevolo. So what, what you that is listening to me, you have to also bring your support to Senator Mondo Bevolo and Dennis Deco Dausa so that there will be a massive uh, 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 support from every corner in order to deliver him as the next governor of the state. So my brothers and sisters, why are people drumming their support for Senator Mondo Bevolo? Why? Why is it that everyone wants to support Senator Mondo Bevolo? and his governorship campaign. People are decamping from everywhere. PDP is tearing into two. Uh, the, the side of Danobi, the legacy PDP, they are all coming. You saw Senator Roland over here. They are all coming to APC, uh, Ogbede Yama, all of them. Why are they saying they want to support Senator Mondo Bevolo? This is the reason, because Senator Mondo Bevolo has good credentials. And some of those credentials, I want to read to you, and I want to settle in your heart. I want to say to you now, some of those good credentials, I want to uh, settle in your heart. Now, Senator Monde Obevolo, Monde Apakomiza Obevolo, is a Nigerian politician who represents Edo Central Senatorial District in the National Assembly. He chairs the Senate Committee on Petroleum Resources. Now, many of you don't know that in the Senate, Senator Mondo Bevolo is the one that is handling petroleum. Oh, yeah. He's the one that is in charge of Nigeria oil. Many of you don't know. In the Senate, he's the one that is handling the oil. Where the bulk of money is. <laughs> he's the one in the Senate. Many of you don't know. He's in charge of that. So I'm just letting you people know now that Senator Mondo Bevolo is the head of Senate Committee on Petroleum Resources upstream. And he's a member of the All Progressive Congress. Now, like I said the other day, uh, Senator Monde Obebolo was born uh, in 1970. He has a wife. Uh, he's an origin of Edo State from Uromi, Edo Central, uh, which uh, we are talking of the Essence uh, 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 Zoni governorship this year. And so, Mondo Obevolo, it was born in 1970. He comes from a humble and hardworking family that taught him the principles of honesty, dedication, and service. He received his elementary education. In case you don't know him, we are introducing him to you. He received his elementary education at Uromi Elementary School and his secondary school at Uromi Grammar School where he has said both academically and socially. He attended the University of Benin, where he got a bachelor degree in agricultural economics in 1986. He became interested in politics. I wanted to pursue a career. He received a master's degree in public administration in the same University of Benin in 1990. In 1996, Senator Mondo Bevolo completed his graduate studies in the University of Ibadan, in the University of Ibadan, where he earned a doctorate of philosophy, PhD, in agricultural economics. In, a, in addition, he has a certificate in legislative studies from the National Institute for Legislatives 
and Democratic Studies, and a postgraduate diploma in management from the Nigeria Institute of Management. Mondo Bevolo Karia, Senator Mondo Bevolo Karia, was a successful businessman. He is a successful businessman and entrepreneur who founded and oversaw a number of business in a variety of industries, including hospitality, construction, oil, and gas, and agriculture. He is the creator and chairman. Listen to the name of one of his companies. Many of you don't know. Listen. I'm about to say it now. Listen to the name of one of his companies. Okay? He is the creator and chairman of Monobebolo Nigeria Limited. Monobebolo Nigeria Limited. He is the one that created that company, Mono Bevolo Nigeria Limited, a well known agro health business that grows and exports cash crops like cassava, cocoa, rubber. It's an agricultural uh, 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 micro company. Uh, cocoa, rubber, palm oil. He, he, has, he, like, he exports these things out of the country. In addition, he founded and served as chairman of Monobevo Oil and Gas Limited. He also has the oil company. In case most of you don't know, he runs the oil company as well. Monobevo Gas and Oil uh, Limited. A significant uh, uh, participant in both the upstream and downstream segment of the oil and gas market. He's very involved in the Nigeria oil. He's a strong holder in the Nigeria oil. So that's why in the Senate, they made him the head of oil and petroleum. All right? So, uh, yeah, oil and gas. In addition, he's also the creator of, he's also the creator and chairman of Monopoly Construction Limited. He also has a construction company. He has a construction company where they build a respectable building and road construction company with a long history in the nation. So his company has been existing for a while. He is the creator and chairman of the luxury hotel. He also has a hotel. I tell you, this is why people are drumming support for him. This man is doing so much. He has done so much. He also has a hotel. How many things have I since? Bishop, I think a bishop network is bad. I think a bishop network is bad. Yes, go ahead, Congress. Yeah, good day, everybody. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whichever location you guys are looking us from. See, on the matter of uh, Senator Monday Okbevulu for the governor, because it's a goal. According to what my brother was explaining now, yes. The man has contributed a lot of things in Nigeria. He's a silent and a quiet man, but he always do wonder. There is something I always tell people. People that do contribute to the society, they don't make noise. People who do not contribute to the society, they make a lot of noise. Mondo, we all have a good attitude that he doesn't talk so much. But what he's going to do remain in his mind. I don't people should have this in mind in their mind that Mondo, Bevolo, is coming to save Edo from the hands of the wicked government that is leading Edo now. Mondo Bevolo has nothing to lose. He's a well known man. The man has built his future. The man has what it takes to live life. But he's just paying the man the way Edo is the way the way Edo is going. Edo is not it's not going well. That is why the one it takes as a challenge. Let me come out and refuse this my state. And he choose a good deputy governor. Then it's it's the outside. That's Mr. Project in Ovia. Then it also is going to expand its own project around the four corners of Edo State. Because he has that one in his own mindset. There is something I want to let people know. Soon as we will bring Mondo Okpeboro to this platform, we will bring him, we will invite him. Mondo Okpeboro will come and talk to Edo like all over the world to come and tell them how he's not going to govern them. We are speaking on behalf of him now. But Mondo Okpeboro will come here. Hello. Thank you, sir. Let me let me round up uh, <laughs> what I was before the line went off because of network. Thank you, sir. You you bring that information. 
let me just uh, round it off what I, where I was. I was talking about uh, he has he has the hotel. Now one of the things is that his hotel is not only in Nigeria. His hotel is also abroad. He has hotel also in abroad. So you see why a lot of people are drumming support for him. That is he's not only a home base. He's also an international base. So he's doing where he has hotel abroad also. Now, on the, uh, when he was in the PDP, in the People's Democratic Party, he did well. That's why you see most of the people in the PDP, like Senator Mondo, Mevolo, of they are coming to APC now because he did very well. He came into politics when, in 1999 when he ran uh, in, the, in, the, in the PDP. He was elected in the House of Senate, House of Representatives, sorry. He did very well, fantastically well. So in addition, he presided over creation and execution of policies that people are using in Nigeria and also in Edo State. Policies and initiatives and, and bastard the agricultural industry. He has made a lot of great things in agricultural industry. Where they create food, where they create food and raise standard of living. For those in the rural areas, those in the village, he has raised their standard of living. Those in the village, those who are who are trying to survive, he has raised their standard of living. And he's also the house committee, he's also the house chairman on committee on agriculture. In Senate today, he's also the chairman on committee on agriculture. So he has a lot of position in the Senate and rural development. In addition, he was also a member of Works Petroleum Resources and Financial Appropriations Committee. And so he did a lot of work he's still doing in petroleum and in so many other things. He oversaw and controlled operation of upstream segment of the oil and gas while holding the position of chairman of the House of Committee on Petroleum and Resources. Um, his, his, his greatness is, is, uh, is unquantable. He's also in charge of monitoring and controlling. Bishop, 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 yes, sir. Bishop, yes, Bishop, sir. with all due respect, yes. I would like to stop you here. You see, sometimes yes. we are campaigning yes. for Mondoro Pebulo. We need yes. to be honest to ourselves. Now, yes. till next week, you have yes. identified Mondoro Pebulo, what it yes. looks like. We will like yes. Okpebulo himself to come and talk yes. to a do people. Yes. What is come. up to? Very, very important. Somebody that come. is going to lead a state must come to come we and address come. the people of the state. This is what we is up to. Them. Yes, at the time we, we start speaking on behalf of him, there are there are yeah. areas we can touch. There are areas he's supposed yeah. to come and express himself why he wants to become a governor. And at the time he come out on media, express his feelings. To the people, why you want to pilot the affair of the state? The Edo people will give him a listening ear. That is why we are begging our principal. He should create time and come to this platform. Because Edo people want you. They want, especially in the ones in diaspora. They say they want you to come and talk to them. What you are up to? How can you fix that state? You come and explain it to them. Everybody is ready to support you. How do we support a candidate? A candidate who have a vision. A candidate who have people in his mind. A candidate who have something to offer in the table. You see, there are people. Because you know why I don't people is sick and tired of all this governorship of a team? The one will be hearing different stories. It, like I was in a community meeting today on my platform or in our platform. Luckily, the one the local government chairman came. We were discussing how we are going to grade our community. And I asked the man, what are the functions of a local government? Is it not the responsibility of the chairman to grade all the community in the whole local government? It's their responsibility, but they are not doing it. So I will beg Okpemoro myself. He should come and address the people of Edo State. Speaking on behalf of him is enough. I know what I'm saying. I know, we are begging you, sir, with all due respect. We want to be seeing your activities in the public domain. 
We want to be seeing your interaction with people. Interaction matters a lot. Be in the midst of the market women. Address them. Go to the street. Go to different communities. Create awareness for people. Because most people don't know you. Most people don't know you. Because we see what is going on in other party. The kind of jingo the man is playing. So we don't want those jingo to overshadow us. I know the message I'm sending to Senator Modorokpe. These are very important areas that you need to play a key role. You see, when you tell our parents the kind of person you are, they will give you a listening ear. Some people don't even know we need to be honest. I have called, make a lot of calls. They say yeah, they are hearing this thing, but they are not seeing it in the public domain. Because we don't want, do, I don't want to mention anybody's thing, to overshadow everywhere. These are why Obaseki have the sympathy vote from Edo people. Obaseki just, uh, you know, the election of Obaseki win in 2020, it was a sympathy vote. We want the, the same sympathy vote to go to Okpeworu. Do you know the reason why? Okpeworu will come and address the Edo people, both international and locally. We want to be seeing Okpeworu both international media and local media. You can speak Ishan. Address your people. Your deputy can speak Benin. Address your people. These are areas we are lacking. We need to cover that area immediately. I know because we are on media. We are seeing some, some posts everywhere. Some people even go to church today. They are creating awareness. Election is like that. You cannot sit there in a place and think when you are not selling yourself in the market and think you're done with the election. No, it doesn't work that way. We need to be honest to ourselves. We will do our own as a media team to you, sir, with all due respect. But you need some work to do as a leader, as a candidate of the party. A lot of work for you to do. We are going to assist you as your media aide. So, sir, with all due respect, we, we want you we, now we to the most runs out. Which we already doing, we already assisting. Yeah. So now the, the most now before the campaign kicks off, sir, we would like to invite you to this platform to come and address the Edo people in diaspora. They need your interview. They need it very much. So when you come here, you tell the people by yourself, this is what you are up to. We'll be speaking on behalf of you, sir. We want you to come and address the people. And all the people in all, all over the world, they are waiting for you, sir. With all due respect, they are waiting for you. I have a call two days ago. Why is why is Obama not coming to our platform? I told the man that soon as we will bring him. That must be our next topic. How Obama is going to address the Edo people? Because a lot of people are not, they are not, they are not happy. Somebody we are telling them this is the best candidate. This is the man for the job. They quite agree with us, but they want it from the horses mouth to come and address them. What kind of assistance does he need from adult people? These are very important. You will come here and express yourself. My people, these are the areas I want you people to support me. Adult people in that order, they are ready to support you. I could remember in 2020, media was like Obaseki's home. That is where Obaseki get the sympathy vote. Bishop, I don't know if you are getting my point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Media, yeah. like it was, yeah, this yeah. is what Aswa Igodaro is also doing now. We are lacking in yeah, those yeah. areas. We need to be saying the fact. I am not seeing fire in those areas. Where is our candidate? We want to be seeing you on media. He makes you popular more and more. I could remember 2020, Obaseki can go to media two times, but Pastor was not doing it. Pastor was not doing it. That one contributed to the Pastor losing the election. I am telling you. Obaseki takes advantage of social media. This is what Obaseki boy is also doing. The man Obaseki is bringing. 
This is what I'm doing without is also doing now. So we need to be honest to our people. If you don't have time to come, you can say your deputy. Your deputy can represent you. That is all. You are one family. Come here. We are not going to be biased. You are our candidate, a candidate we are standing for. To tell us, you will bring you in to talk to adult people. So adult people will now know you are ready for the job. This is my message today. I'm not going to. I'm not going to spend long time here. So I want to be seeing your message that you are preparing to come to this media to come and address the adult people. Very, very important. A lot of people want to see you on camera. We've introduced it to the people. The person we are introducing, adult people want to see the man. Tell them how he's going to feed the state. I don't know if you guys are understand, getting my point, uh, uh, Mr. Bishop. I get your point. I get you. These are very, very important area. We need our principal to come and tell the people what is up to. Thank you. I rest my case for now. All right. Now, uh, while we are waiting for him to come, we will continue to be selling him to the people of Edo State at large and to the whole world at large while we are waiting for our principal to come this week or next week as his schedule may be hopefully before april 24 before the may campaign starts he should be here now having said that let us go down to the discussion on who okay, uh, bishop. Who bishop. hold on bishop we have one caller here we have one caller. Yeah. Good, e good evening. Yeah, right there. Yeah, we greet you. I get a delay, my pastor, Bishop. Oh, for another good one. Happy Sunday, my brother. Happy Sunday, brother. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. See your comments, uh, you will say me, uh, the goddess. Uh, sorry, I don't carry speaker for nobody. You know, say I never reach I know the house, you know, so I don't carry speaker for nobody. But no, so free, you're sticking like this. I really appreciate the two congregants and the way we we'll get talk before Bishop continue as we we'll get talk. We're we'll not going to take time for this video. Somebody right now for here just now say, make Bishop tell us. With TBO, where will our agenda? Bishop, no, no. For me, I know say Bishop, no, no, where will agenda? So you want to do you know your attack? Uh -huh. No, but we will talk for that. So go ahead, Bishop. Uh, just, yeah, uh, just, just, just to add to that agenda, yeah. too. The only, uh, thing, the only uh, thing he said is. No, no. We have um, okay. seven minutes to go, okay? Go okay, ahead. okay. Now, the only thing he said, he said he has five points agenda. He didn't say the agenda. Michael Lakoko is saying the agenda, I don't know, but he has said it openly that he has five point agenda. That his agenda will not be too long. It's not all those uh, plenty, plenty agenda. I only have five. That, you know, the campaign will start April 24 this month. The, the IMEC calendar says all party campaign 
we start April 24. Our next uh, on the uh, from on the 17 or 18, INEC is going to announce the whole candidates and their deputies of all the parties that is contesting the those states. So that's the timetable. The next year INEC will do nice that INEC is going to publish all the candidates of all the parties, both the small party and big party, and their deputies. He will, he will publish it. Then on the 24, on the 23, INEC will alert all the parties that tomorrow is the campaign kickoff. On the 24, all the party will start campaigning in September 19 to September 20. They stop so that on the 21, the people can decide who they are to vote for. So that's all we know for now. So his agenda, he will come and say it here, like my brother said, a lot okay. of people are and uh, he will tell us what the five point agenda Thank is. You. So I will Thank say you. that. Hold on, my bishop. Hold on. If we all okay. just go, go straight to your point after this call. Go ahead, uh, okay. caller. Hello. Happy Sunday, everybody. Yeah, same to you. I greet everybody in the house. Hello, Coco. Yes, I agree with Epaogele. Uh, what Epaogele is saying, he's saying the truth. So the person we are campaigning for, we don't know him. So we have to know him. So let him come to media. So we need him to come media and speak to us. That is my, my contribution. Makoko. Thank you very much. Happy Sunday. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, All right, happy Sunday. Go ahead. Now, nah, uh, in his defense, he will come. He has not told us he will not come. Comrade Ogele just put it out now. He's listening. He will definitely come. So let everybody be patient with him. It's not there. He will come. Well, hopefully, he will be in this channel. So, Habu said that the thing about it is that he has a clear cut agenda for Edo State. Uh -huh. He's going to work for the people of Edo. That's Bishop, 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 you are, yeah. Bishop, I will, I will, I'm not instructing you. I will come here. Let me tell you one thing. Eh? I listened to some video yesterday, some anal analysis. Let me tell you one thing. You must not wait for the campaign to kick off before you start telling your people your five point agenda. No, politics doesn't work like that. You know, this, this are, no, Bishop, we argue to understand, we argue to understand one another. I know where we are lacking now. Before I bring this matter, I want the right. to listen to our voice on this media. You are right. You are right. I will have to say the fact. You, we are lacking in this right. area. You are right. He will come before 24. You just said it today. He cannot just jump online now. I know. He will yeah. say it. Uh -huh. So give him time. He will come. That's what I'm saying. Nobody is saying what you said is a lie. What we are saying is that he will come. We are saying the same thing. So give him time, he will come. So he will work for the people of Edo State. He will make sure that Edo will be better. I believe in him. Then, uh, I trust you God. Say, you just uh, Bishop, uh, get yeah. a point to win. So you wait time we, we, before we wait time we will believe you better now. If you're not correct enough. You know. believe you are That's right. That's what I said. I say he's right. Yeah, he's right. Or correct. Only guy way is right. If you, I mentioned it up to three times. But I say you should also be patient with him to come. He will come. We just presented it today to his listening. He will give us. Because we don't want what happened in 2020 to repeat himself. These are the areas we were emphasizing on. You know. They they ignore it. Upper second take the advantage. Because as soon as he's going from place to place, if you want to become a public figure, you must be in the public. If you want to become a public yeah, figure, you must be right in the public. I want to take a stand go from... It's not a friend of media. Senator, I go to fear media. Plan where not the fear media. Don't you go to the fear media. I'm not a media. Senator, Oh, here got more media. It is something that here me meet my way. Oh, logo, oh, logo, right? Look, we mara we go to hospital. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, let's focus on our video. So I haven't said that. The thing about it is that the senator loves the people of Edo and he wants to work for them. He's a man that is down to the earth. Uh, senator Mundo Bello is down to earth. He's someone that ah. Uh, if you see market women, he will run after them. We want to better the marketplace. If you see a, 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 a youth in the street, he will run after the youth. He will want to share ideas with them. So see how he can create jobs for them. So he's not someone that does not want to interact with the people of Edo 
or does not want to come, he will come and he will do well as a governor. By the grace of God, we are going to see a new Edo. A new Edo is rising and he's a very young one. He's younger than the other candidate by 10 years. And he's, he's 10 years younger than uh, the, the PDP candidate. So basically, he's someone that has energy to work. He's someone that will work. He's someone that has energy to work. And let me clarify one thing. Those of you who are speaking that, that he does not want to come to the media. He will come to this media. The, the only thing is, he must not go to every media. He must so go to only the media the right, that, yes, that yes, is supporting him. No road. Write the person who no road for. Put that for conversation. Mm -hmm. Write to no road yeah. for conversation. He will, sub, he will come to the media of the people that is supporting him, which is this platform. This is the platform that is supporting him. That is where he will campaign. He cannot go to the other person a platform. People who are insulting him, he should go there because he will go that yeah. No, he will go there. He will come here. This is the platform that is pushing his campaign. So he will be here to tell us what he's going to do, the great things he's going to do, the wonderful things that the people of Edo, you people will enjoy him. Uh -huh. He's a good man. He's a man that loves the people of Edo. He has a beautiful family. He has a good wife that will be a good uh, first lady of Edo State. So let's trust God that we have seen a developer in the person of Senator Mondo Bevel, someone who will develop the state, someone who will transform the state, someone who will make the state better, someone who will use the resources of Edo State as a good resources to better the life of the Edo people. Someone who will bring President Sinubu to Edo State also to say, ah, this is the good work we have been doing with the money you have been bringing to Edo since President Tinobu entered power, he has been sending money to Edo State. Yeah, things are high. Yeah. Things are high. He has not even visited Edo State. Senator Mondi Obebolo will bring us and look at the, what we are doing with your money. You are, we are transforming Edo with the revenue you are bringing every month. So we want to tell everybody that we have a good candidate. We have a nice candidate in the person of Senator Mondi Obebolo. And we are trusting God that he will be delivered that day on September 21 as the next governor of Edo State. That his campaign will not just come and go. No, it will be a campaign that will put a stop to all the things that APC, I mean, that PDP, excuse me, all the things that PDP is doing to Edo State. PDP is doing to Edo State in this current government. If you watch this video, we have been saying, the, the PDP chiefs, they are all crying. They are lamenting because they know that governors have not reached the ordinary man. But by the grace of God, we are going to see good governors. September 21, when Senator Monday of Bevolo will emerge as the new governor of Edo State and his deputy, Dennis Denko Osasbemoro Idaosa, we emerge as the deputy governor of Edo State. We are going to see a better Edo. So my brothers and sisters, call your friends, call your loved ones, Call your brothers, call your sister, call your fathers, call your uncles, your aunties, your mothers. Tell them to vote for Senator Mondi Obebolo. People are already gathering for him. We'll do part two of this broadcast by the grace of God. There is so much support. We are going to show you a lot of people in a those states are already saying this is the man we want. Both party chieftains. You saw someone, a the great man like uh, Senator Roland Owe there just now, speaking vehemently about the disappointment he has in this current administration. You saw somebody like Ogbede Yama, Honorable Ogbede Yama, speaking vehemently on his disappointment in this current administration. You saw somebody like Senator Matthew Ruahide become from PDP and is coming to APC. He has, he's already in APC because he's the DG, he's the Director General of the Mundo Level of the Nizenko Idaosa campaign for 2020 APC campaign. Governorship 2020. So he's come, he is in APC now to support this great movement. My brothers and sisters, there is joy in our heart because a good person has arrived to support and to, and to lead Edo people to the next level. A great man has come from Edo Central, from Esala. If you are an Esa person, if you are from Edo Central, please dust your voting card and bring it out. Wherever you had your voting card, go and bring it. Bring it up and begin to prepare yourself to vote for Senator Mondo Bevel. If you are from Edo South, if you are from Edo South, go and bring out your voting card. Prepare it down for September 21. It's far, but it's not far. 
September 21 is far. It's not far. It's like five months from now, six months from now. It's far. It's not far. Before you know, we're already there on that day. If you are from a do not, go and bring out your voting card. Dust it. Prepare it to vote for the person of Senator Monday or Mevon. And as you do that, the Lord will reward you. You are going to see and a do you will not regret. Education will bounce back again. Roads will be done. Schools will come back. You will see electricity. He's going to do his best. You see, he's, he's even into construction. He's going to do his best for the people of Edo State. The Lord bless you all. And so while we are uh, 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 getting ready to round up, we are going to play the video again for all of you to watch the great support from all over that have come to support Senator Monday Beverly. The Lord bless you all. Over to you, uh, Olakoko, roll the video again. Let our viewers see the great support that have come from everywhere to support Senator Monday Bevolo. God bless you. Yes, 21st of September, go there and vote I think Senator Monday Bevolo. About what is coming. So, having said that, yeah. my point is this. Please keep him on your mind. And uh, if our comrade will let you ask some people to speak. Yeah, I say September 21st, 2024, vote Mondo Vote Mondo Senator Mondo the next governor of Edo State. Thank you and God bless every one of you as you are watching this video. We will be updating you guys about Mondo before that September 21st. Because Edo has suffered for the past eight years. We want a change in our state. Our candidate is coming to address the people of Edo soonest is going to do that so that you people will hear from the horse's mouth brothers and sisters denko idausa is our adult brother he has been doing well in ovia so he's going to continue his good job that he has been doing and he's going to extend the, job, the, the work to every local government of edo state because people in every local government they have been cut off from the government it's like they are not part of edo so nothing to write them about every local government in edo state the whole 18 local government is porous Right away, as we finish this program, I'm going to speak to the one local government chairman. They have sent it to, it's number to me. I want to ask him a question. The functions of a local government, he should tell me. Because I know Obaseki selected them to that office. But these guys, they are not doing anything. They are not doing anything. So that's what we best it all. But when he becomes the governor, he should give the local government chairman their roles to play in the local government. Because most of the villages in those states is, is just like a dust bin. No good road, no pipe on water, no electricity, no schools. And every four years, this position will go there and ask them for votes. We will not accept that one again. People that is in the rural area, they are human beings. They are part of a do. We are talking about Oredo. It's Oredo, only Oredo, Edo State. Every other place, they are part of Edo State. This is why we want a governor that can expand his hand. He should give local government the autonomy. To drive the economy of their local government. These are the areas we are crying. Because our Baseki have a jack Edo. That is why we are supporting Senator Mondo Okbewolu to come and rescue Edo. Brothers and sisters, go and bring your PVC out. Voters card immediately on that day. Prepare and vote Monday. Okbewolu, governor of Edo State and Dennis Idausa for Deputy Governor. God bless every one of you. Thank you very much. The champions are here. Laguko, I make a call. Ma. Okay, I'm so for now. I make a call, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm finished, man.
How many people like this music? How many people like this music? God bless our street governor. How many people like this music? How many people like this music? If you like, I write yes for comment session. So my people, when I say I say congregate the head doctor can. They don't come here, can't deceive anybody. Okay? And when I say I'm not saving PDP, all of the dog they wrong. Say now, my bro. Now they won't support. I felt tell you I say this election will be the easiest election. Okay? The way they talk, huh? call your people, may they go break their PVC hats. You win the wash, bring out your PVC. Vote for Senator Modi, Okbemuru, aka the Akbakomiza. Make we listen to this music one more time when we call our day. Happy Sunday to you all. I bet you know, don't lose your interest. I bet come back now. Now, when I see, I wait when they tell all that when we won't start, we don't start now. I beg. Make one at the right time. Anybody like this music, I need 10 comments. Write yes. If you like, I'm right. Yes. If you don't like, I'm right. No. I wonder what they do. I wonder what they do. Don't worry, it will impress you. It will impress you. We go come, you will come alive. You will come alive. We mama zing be say. Away, away, yeah, yane. Eh, as we go, that's we. Eh, tiraj and daima. But eh, I do get we we woro. Oh, I carry boy your yeki. Yes, I carry boy your yeki. 